Hi guys and welcome back to the Family Fudge. Today I have another What I Eat in a Day video, but this time it's a Disney version, which is a little bit different because it's also sort of a travel vlog and it's different than what I eat in a day when I'm at home because when I'm at home I cook my own food, I plan it out, and I try to make it on the healthier side. But when I'm at Disney, it's different. I don't always have a kitchen to prepare my own food. A lot of the times I buy food at the park and I don't know what it's going to be. I also share a lot of food with my family. And you guys, Disneyland has a lot of treats. So I try to just get a couple and share them with my family. So it's not the healthiest what I eat in a day, but it's definitely fun. So let's get started. Now, of course, I'm gonna kick things off with breakfast. On this morning, we actually woke up at the Anaheim Majestic Garden Hotel, which we were actually there to do a review on, and that will be in a separate video. But it's really interesting when you're staying in a hotel and you wanna have your own breakfast. We often like to do that to save money. Some hotels will have a kitchen, some won't. Some will have a fridge, some won't. So you kinda of have to figure it out as you go. So on this morning, I ended up having some egg bites. We actually brought these with us. These are a Jimmy Dean Delight product. And so it's basically egg whites with um, vegetables. They're actually really good. We also brought some fruit from home. So yeah, this breakfast definitely wasn't fancy, but I was totally fine with that because I just needed something before we were gonna head out to the park. Now on this Disney day, the park didn't actually open till 10 a.m. So right when we got in the park, we actually had our first snack. And I made sure to stop there first because what we got usually sells out. We tried the rose gold macaron. I found this at the Jolly Holiday restaurant, one of my favorites. This snack was really pretty, but it also tasted good as well. And this actually wasn't too bad because we ended up sharing it. And that's what we do a lot of time to save money and to not be too full while we're at Disney is we'll just buy one or two and then we'll share it. So inside this macaron, there was a really yummy frosting and a raspberry. I totally recommend these. But you guys, this was definitely not a cheap snack. I think it was almost $6 for just one. Now after going on a bunch of rides, including Pirates of the Caribbean and the Haunted Mansion, we stopped at the Hungry Bear restaurant for lunch. And like I said before, I like to bring some food and I like to buy some food. So on this day, I actually brought my own sandwiches. I purchased them at the grocery store before we came to Disney. And these are just rolled up sandwiches made of roast beef, they're really good. We also brought some fruit to share. But since we were at the Hungry Bear, I actually ordered a funnel cake for us to share as well. This was the special Pixar funnel cake, and it's supposed to be like Lotso, I think, from Toy Story. So there were strawberries on top, but there was also a spicy sauce, because if you've seen Toy Story, you'll know that Lotso is not such a nice guy. Now a couple hours later, we found ourselves in Tomorrowland. Everyone went on Space Mountain, well except for the toddler, and we were definitely ready for a snack. And I knew that there were some new items there for Pixar Fest. So we ended up sharing the cheeseburger pizza and the alien macaron. So yes, two macarons in one day, and they were both really good. The macaron had an alien looking outside. It also had a lemon filling with also a raspberry in the center. It was really good. And the cheeseburger pizza I thought was really good, but the kids didn't really like it. It was basically a slice of pizza with some hamburger patties, tomatoes, and they also squirted some like ketchup mayonnaise sauce on top. So yeah, I thought it was good, but they didn't really like it. Luckily, we just got one so we could all just try it. Again, this macaron was about $6, and the pizza was at least $6 or $7 for one piece. Another good reason why we share. Now for dinner, we found ourselves in Adventureland. We had just gotten off of the Jungle Cruise, and that was awesome. I love the Jungle Cruise. And we stopped at the nearby restaurant called Bangle Barbecue. They sell a lot of meat skewers and things like that. But we actually tried a new item on the menu, and my husband and I ended up splitting this. The kids got something else for dinner that night, and I honestly can't even remember what it was. But we ended up sharing this one. Again, this was not gluten-free. 
but my husband ate it anyway because I'm such a bad influence. This was a pulled pork sandwich with a tropical coleslaw. They also had chips on the side. It was really good. And I totally think that this was enough food to share. Okay guys, let me know in the comments down below, out of all the foods I showed you today, which one would you most likely try? Also, if you have a favorite Disneyland or Disney World food, let me know what it is. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.